Welcome back to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, this is Dave Hayes. Um, today we are back with uh, not a ROM review, but uh, what we're going to be discussing today is Magisk Manager. Um, this is, <laughs> believe it or not, it's like the fourth time uh, that I've done this video, and God, I hope it takes this time. Um, I'm not going to boot into Twerp and um, show you guys how to flash uh, the zips, and that's all you're doing are fl is flashing zips. I have videos out uh, that show how to uh, flash zips in Twerp, um, and the only difference uh, would be if you were running multi-ROM, um, and the only uh, thing that would be different with multi-ROM is you got to make sure that you are on uh, the ROM that you want to install Magisk on, okay? No differences other than that. You just click install, that's it. Uh, again, if you're going to run mat, or if you're going to run multi-ROM, uh, you want to make sure that you are in. Um, you go to the multi-ROM folder. You pick the uh, the ROM that you want to install the Magisk uh, root to, uh, and then once you click on that ROM, you click install, and then you install these zips. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm going to do first is um, I'm going to open up uh, the XDA thread. Uh, and I'm going to show you the zip or the uh, place I'm going to take you to. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to this thread right here. Okay. Uh, it's the XDA uh, thread on Magisk. Uh, this thread is going to explain to you everything you need to know about Magisk. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you um, the flashing instructions or um, which zips you need to flash and when. Uh, but you really do need to read uh, what's on uh, or what's in this thread. Um, it goes really, it goes into really good detail on uh, why they did what they did, uh, what uh, what Magisk will do for you, and what it can't do for you. Um, I know that a lot of you guys out there are looking to run Android Pay uh, and some of these other programs that you can't run if you're rooted. Um, well, I have some bad news for you. If you guys are running Android N, uh, at least right now, you are not going to be able to run those programs. And the reason that is, is because, uh, is because um, Google decided for us, <laughs> thank you Google, um, that uh, they were going to put flags on uh, so that if you are uh, bootloader unlocked, uh, you are not going to be able to run Android Pay or any of these programs. Uh, it is a safety flag. It is a feature. Um, for, they call it a feature. Uh, I think it is a, uh, uh, an obstruction, and I think it was put by Google uh, purposely, although they, they say it is a mistake and they overlooked it. I think this is the way Google is going to start going, guys. I really do. Uh, look for it. I think you're going to find a lot more of this. I think development's going to get a lot harder. Um, it, I, I just do. I hope I'm wrong. Uh, read my uh, read my post that I did on forced encryption, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's an article I wrote on Android Guider. Uh, read it. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but the uh, phones that came out, the Pixel phones, are just the start of it. So, but anyways, uh, we're talking about Magisk. Go to this site. It's going to tell you to download a couple files. The files you need are the Magisk installer, V6, V7, or V8. I think they give you the link to V8. Um, and then you're going to want the uh, Magisk manager. Uh, you, you're going to want to uh, download the Magisk uninstaller. Okay, you need that. Um, and you're going to need a super user zip. Okay, and you can get all those zips from this one link right here. Now, the zips that you download, the super user zips, they have several different zips to choose from. Um, and the reason they do is because those zips uh, have different options. Uh, they're used for different things. If you're encrypted, you use a certain zip. If you want to run permissive, you use a certain zip. If you have like an all-around, um, <laughs> you use a certain zip, okay? I'm going to show you guys what I use because that's what you asked for. Uh, you ask me what I use, and you ask me how I use it, and that's what I'm going to give you guys. I'm going to give you the way I use it, but you need to read this. <laughs> that's why I'm spending so much time here. You need to read this thread. That way you can understand exactly which super users you need uh, that's going to fit your needs, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to go into my file manager, 
Um, and I'm going to show you the files that I have, uh, which are under latest Magisk. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I basically have four zips in here, okay? Uh, I have uh, the Magisk uninstaller, I have the Magisk V8, uh, and then I have the uh, PHH um, Super User uh, 17. I always forget the whole name of this zip. It's, uh, yeah, it's just a, the PHH Super User 17 Magisk zip. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, I highly recommend this one. Uh, this is the one that is in, like an all around. Uh, it's good for just about everything. It always works for me. I never have any issues with it. That's the one I recommend. You guys can do use whichever one you want. You can use the most up-to-date one if you want. That's the one I use, okay? Uh, and then last but not least, I have uh, the updated uh, un-SU zip. And what that is, is that will uninstall uh, Chainfire's SuperSU if by any chance you have that already installed on your system. And when I say that, I mean on the ROM that you want to install this on. If you're running multi-ROM, um, it doesn't matter if it's on a different ROM. You just don't want it on the ROM that you're going to install Magisk on, okay? And that's if you're only installing the older type uh, Magisk. And uh, if you're, I, I, from what I understand, if you, yes, if you install Magisk V8, and the up, most up-to-date super user, I think it actually works with chain fires. You've got to read it, though. I'm not even going to go there, guys, all right? All right, first up, if you already have chain fire super user on, flash this zip right here, okay? Uh, I want, I'm going to go ahead and open it, let you guys see it, the name of it. You want to flash that zip. Um, I don't have a link for that, but all you guys have to do is type that in right there into Google search and it will give you this zip, okay? It'll give you the link to that. You download it, flash that zip first. Only if you already have, only if you have Chainfire Super User already installed and it's not working for you and you want to get root, get rid of it. Uh, I would reboot back into Twerp. You guys don't have to. That's how I do it, okay? Um, if for any reason Torp asks to install super user for you, you always say no. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to click on install and then you want to install the Magisk uninstaller. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open it up, let you see it. That is the zip that you want to flash next. Well, you're saying to me, well, why would I want to flash that? Uh, I don't even have it installed yet. Uh, maybe. Uh, it depends on what ROM you're running. Uh, the ROM you're running may actually have this installed on it. And if you go to install a newer Magisk uh, um, installer, you want to get rid of the old one. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, you want to flash that zip, okay? Just flash it. Now, I would also reboot back into Twerp. That's just me. You don't have to. Do it however you want. You guys are asking me how I do it. That's how I do it. Next up, Magisk V8. Um, if you have the Magisk V6 or V7 and you want to flash it, be my guest. To be quite honest with you, I'm sticking with V6. But uh, because the site tells you to use the most up-to-date, I'm going to tell you to use V8. All right? Uh, did I try it? Yes, it's working very great or very well. And I actually have it on right now. I'm running V8 right now. Um, after you flash that, you don't have to reboot. Just go ahead and flash your super user because you need that super user. That's that one right here. Go ahead and flash that. When you flash that, reboot into system. Okay? Once you reboot into system, you're going to open up your app drawer and you're going to notice that you do not have super user. That's not going to be there. You need to go to the Play Store and you need to download... I will type it in for you, uh, P-H-H apostrophe S S-U-P-E-R and that is the file you're going to download right there. Okay guys, uh, I might even try to put the link in the description for you. Uh, once you download it, you're going to open it. You are not going to see anything in there. It's going to be completely blank. So you're going to go here, you're going to click on settings. You're going to click on Super User Access. I always go Apps ADB. You guys can go with whatever you want. 
but that's the one I choose. You click on that, you're going to see a little pop-up that says you are now granted super user. Guys, you're rooted. It's that simple. You don't have to do anything else if you don't want. But, say you're on Marshmallow and you want to go ahead and turn your root off, turn it back on, turn it off, whatever. Um, that's, where you want to down that's where you want to install that other file you downloaded, the Magisk Manager. Now, if you installed the older version, like I have on right here, uh, it's actually going to give you these options. Uh, root uh, toggle, which you can turn root on and off, or your SE Linux toggle, which you can turn your SE Linux to either enforcing or permissive. Um, so, you, just by clicking that, that will turn it to enforcing. Whenever you see green, that means it's off, okay? Or, in this case, it's enforcing. If I want to turn my root off, I go like that. Root is now off. I am unrooted and now I am running in enforcing. I turn that toggle there. I am now rooted. Rooted and running enforcing. I toggle it again. I am now rooted and I am running SE Linux permissive. I don't recommend that. <laughs> uh, if you guys are really security conscious, um, I don't recommend that setting. Um, but it's there if you want it. Guys, that is pretty much it. That's Magisk. It's that's Magisk in a nutshell. It's that simple to use. Um, it, I, it used to be a problem installing it in the past. Uh, that was until at least uh, I learned how. Um, it's not that hard, guys. Just make sure you flash those uninstalls first, because if you don't have a clean system to install the uh, uh, the uh, the V6, V7, or V8 uh, installer on you're going to get conflicts, and then it's not going to work for you. So, you want to flash those uninstallers first, then you want to flash the V6, V7, or V8. Uh, they recommend a V8. Um, and then you want to flash your super user zip. Okay, that super user is the PHHS zip. Okay, it's a super user zip. Once you boot up, then after that, go to the Play Store, download the PHH apostrophe S super user app, and you are ready to go. If you want further uh, enhancements, then you want to install the Magisk Manager. That way you can turn root off and on and toggle SE Linux permissive. And that's it guys. Um, if you like the video, please give it a, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers. Um, and as soon as, uh, as, soon as the, uh, uh, the developers start pushing out uh, some ROMs that actually have some meat in them, uh, and some custom options, and they're not like just all the same ROM, but with a different name on them. Uh, I will start putting some more videos out for you guys. Uh, but right now, it's like I said, it, there's only a, a small handful of ROMs out there that I would really recommend that you guys run. Uh, six is high on the list. Um, Pure Nexus, it's you know, it's a pretty good ROM. Octo S is an outstanding ROM, uh, and um, if you want a whole bunch of options. Uh, go with cyanide, uh, but for now uh, That's about it. Uh, the other ones are also good ROMs, but I don't see any other features that really stand out uh, That the that the ones that I'm running, you know already has in them um, So again guys, uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, I will see you on the next one